Hi and welcome to the channel. Now today's video is about me comparing uh, a recent visit to an iFi shop and we'll be doing some videos, uh, some up and coming videos, just a couple more I think because otherwise they're gone forever. Um, just one thing, you know, these videos, I'm, I'm not doing my videos properly, I don't think a lot of these videos say grab a cup of tea and all that kind of stuff, sit back and relax, all that kind of stuff and I think uh, uh, I do take quite a while, so you better get your nightcap as well and everything like that, but I've got myself a cup of tea today, first here on the channel. It's not like EastEnders or anything like that, it's a real cup. But saying that, I was on EastEnders and uh, they do give you a, a proper meal, even though it is stone cold, but there you go. Okay, uh, talking about this budget, a recent visit to an iFi shop and what I, you know, the sound differences that I heard uh, over a short period of time in that shop, uh, I was only there a little while, I think about an hour and a half, two hours in the shop listening. Uh, so yes, yeah, just go over a few things here first of all that I've got here. And like I say, what I'm going to compare it to, I'm going to tell you what the uh, actual set setup I compared it to first, I think. Kind of wet your lips, shall we say. I've got it all written down here because my memory's not that great. Right, first of all, I was listening to, this comes to about £4,000 in total, this system. You can look it up, etc. Uh, this is a Riga Planner 3 uh, with an exact cartridge into a Riga Illicit Integrated Amplifier. The streaming was done by a Blue Sound Node. Speakers while well, they're Dyn Audio Evoke Tens, so that's the system. Uh, heard a few tracks, obviously, on that system. Um, so that's that. That's what I'm you know, comparing it with, and I think that comes out. I, I looked it up, but I was told that's around about the four thousand pound bracket. I actually looked it up. Uh, something you may want to do anyway. So um, right, so what we got here? Let's just talk about what I've got here first of all. Let's stick that down now. I've got a Sansui Three One Seven Mark Two here. It's you know this is budget, low budget. I think it cost me about 150, 160 pounds, something like that. So that's what you're going to pick up one for around about that kind of price. And you may get it a bit lower. I think one went recently for about 140 pound. So low budget. Uh, this is a Sansui 331. I've got the 441 as well. Uh, it just sounds a little bit better. It's not quite, quite as much kit, but it sounds a little bit better. Uh, now I've recapped it. It's been fully recapped now. So it's got a little bit more, uh, just a bit more definition than the, the 441 I've got, I think now. It's just, just edges it into the lead, definitely there. And this is an Arantz 1030. It's okay. You know what I mean? These, these are the better two, but I'm a million miles kind of thing. It's okay. I've, even though I've recapped it and that, done a bit of recapping and that inside there. I think, I think, I think I've had a full recap. I can't remember now. But um, it, it's better than what it sounded when I first got it. Let's put it that way. But it still don't really compare to these two here. We definitely don't compare to that. I mean, it don't compare to this neither. I don't know what I'm saying. Definitely that. It don't compare. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, not a well regarded one. I think the 1060 and the 1090 are the more popular ones in this. This is only about 15 watts and it sounds a lot less uh, powerful than these other two, that's for certain. At the top here is the Cambridge Audio 860 integrated amplifier. I've had quite a few amplifiers as people know on the channel. I've had the NAG 3020 for instance, uh, uh, quite a well regarded and uh, people like buying that. It's quite popular at the moment. So I've got a few bits and pieces to compare it to. Don't forget this is low budget. I just want to stress this, this is low budget stuff. Uh, you know, you're going to put an old system here together, I would have said, for about, let's just quickly rack it all up, probably 300 quid, somewhere around there, uh, maybe probably a lot less. These speakers here are the Monitor Audio uh, B1s. Uh, you're not going to pay a fortune for them. I, I was lucky enough to get these for, I think, £30, £35. Probably going to pay un under £100 for these, you're going to pay. And here is the, uh, this is uh, Dynico A35 speakers. Lucky enough for me, I picked these up for 25 quid, but uh, I think you know, if you went and bought a pair, probably going to cost you about 200 pounds, something like that, uh, thereabout. So that's the kind of system. So if we rack a few of the low price ones here, if we compared it, this cost me about 60 quid. It's probably 100 pound, a CD player and the speakers, that's probably going to spend well, probably less than 150 quid that lot. But if you had to go and buy it, say you bought this speaker, that amplifier, and uh, the, uh, when we've got that, that and a CD player, it's probably going to cost you about £400, something like that. Anyway, give you some kind of idea what price bracket we're looking at before we start. And I'm comparing this for something that's 10 times the price. Uh, and newer, obviously brand new, this is vintage. Uh, what's that kind of sound driven? So I'm not going to go too much into detail in the sound. But I'll, it, I'm just going to tell you how it stri stroke, you know, strikes me when I listen to that sound. Uh, like, Don't forget, I've gone in a hi-fi shop around, around my house listening to as well so there will be some probably differences there they're going to have a lot more dampening all that kind of stuff it's going to be set up perfect kind of thing and the actual uh, place I went to was Signals iFi 
uh, and that is um, let's get this right. It's just out, just slightly outside Ipswich, basically Ipswich anyway. This uh, signals iFi. I put a link at the bottom, but I want to come back to that iFi shop, and also I want to come back talking about walking into an iFi shop. Now I've got no association with this signals or any iFi shop. Uh, I do know a person that works there, Kevin, who is dit and works. I'll leave a link to his channel down below as well. But we're going to come back and talk a little bit more in depth about that. This is just touching on my differences. Not really going to talk about that iFi shop really in this particular video or any iFi shop. But um, I'm not. I'm completely unbiased. Even though I know Kevin, I'm not going to tell you. you know, I'm not going to come out with Paul because that. And that's the only person I see in that shop. There's other people that own that shop and you know, uh, etc. And I'm not going to tell you. I've gone around speaking to all lovely people and all that because I didn't speak to them. So I'll be telling you a load of Paul because I'm just going to tell you as it is kind of thing. Uh, when I come to do that video anyway, but anyway going back to this now don't forget Kevin's got you know Kevin does know his stuff in that shop and he's got that set up perfectly in there uh, We talked about it's, it's took him ages to position them speakers and everything like that and get them fixed it up uh, Unky Dory shall we say you're right in the sweet spot. This is what I'm talking about Listen to this in the sweet spot now if you wander out the sweet spot You're gonna get a bit of a different sound obviously like you know when I listen to this it's out the sweet spot uh, I'm getting a, a different kind of sound stage, you know what I mean? Things, things change, you listen to it in the corner of the room or you're moving about, or you're too far away, all that kind of stuff, it all changes. My particular review, my faults here, is, and not everyone sits in that exact sweet spot, I know a lot of people just sit back and relax and don't have them set up. One person may be over there on the seat, one over there, one in the corner kind of thing, all that kind of stuff. But my particular video here, I'm going to talk about the sweet spot. Now, you may want to skip forward, and I'll put down the bottom here to skip forward for the continuation of me talking here, because I'm just going to butt in here and because and, and, I'm giving my thoughts on the price brackets here, this is, this is, this is what it's about as well, the price bracket, because you know, I could have went and said, oh, this uh, £40,000 sounded excellent, but normally people can go and buy that. I'm going to try and keep it realistic. So what I'm going to say is that going back to my, my previous um, experiences in life buying stuff, shall I say, uh, how much things cost now to what it costs then, kind of, and how, how it would affect you, like price-wise, how much you're earning in your pocket, how much a bigger dent that £4,000 is to get this sound. So I just want to quickly touch on that. Um, and years ago, um, I used to keep up to date all the latest stuff, really, going back in the probably late 80s, 80s, 80s onwards, probably 80s to about probably 2000, something like that. I used to be one of these people who had to get all the latest stuff on there. And uh, since I got a little bit older and uh, not earned so much money, not that I was only fortunes then, but got maybe a bit wiser or whatever, and don't, I don't earn a fortune, never earn a fortune kind of thing. Um, I kind of look for stuff, and I like buying this old stuff now and getting the best possible sound out of that. That's what I like to do. Go and buy. I rather I get more pleasure out of buying something cheap uh, that people like think discard, and I can still get some use out of it, and I can you know think that's good for what I pay for it. I've, I've done you know good there. Like why bother going buy this new stuff when this just just as good kind of thing for that price bracket? Don't forget we've got to keep that. So just for instance, many years ago, 1995, I think 96, uh, camera come out, a Sony CCD. Uh, V8, brand new video 8 camera, I see it in Dixon's, and that cost £1,500 back then, and at the time I was earning about £90, £100 a week, something like that in my job I was doing, so I got that on HP, so that cost me 15 times my wages, and I got quite a bit of enjoyment out of that camera, mucking about and etc. Uh, so yeah, so uh, I just want to try and say is that uh, £4,000 may seem a lot for a piece of i that I'm comparing to this, you may say, why didn't you compare it to something a similar price? But I haven't. It's, 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 it's that leap, that, that massive gap. Is it worth the extra money for it? And um, yeah, most days these days, I should imagine most people bring home £300 a week, £400. I've lost touch a little bit because I've been out of work for a few, well, retired for a few years now, uh, or a couple of years, whatever. But um, yeah, I've lost touch a little bit with money in that because when I say this is £100 now, it's not a lot of money these days. You, you know, you go out for a meal, you and your missus, and, that, and, that, and that's what that comes to for one evening. Yeah, you're getting evening after evening after evening, day and all that entertainment out of these units. So these are cheap, really. These are cheap units when you compare it to that. But a lot, a lot of people ain't got a lot of money and want to start off very basic. And this is a good stepping ladder to start you off. To, to, to in years to come, if you're a youngster now or someone, in years to come, you may earn some more money and you'll take that stepping stone. That's what we're going to talk about hi-fi shops later on as well. Okay, so I just want to kind of get that out of the way. So anyway, back to the uh, demonstration that I heard there, Kevin set up for us in the shop. And uh, what did I listen to? I listened to a bit of Alison Crouch, was it? I, got the, I actually bought the CD. That's another thing with going to these shops. You kind of get introduced to some music you, you probably haven't listened to. So I can just jump up for no reason whatsoever because I'm not too sure where I put it. Oh, here it is over here. There we go. I've been listening to this album. This album's quite a bit, but I've listened to it, obviously. But um, Kevin put a, a track on Alison Crouch here, yeah, this album here. 
uh, for me to listen to amongst a few other tracks as well, not just that one track. And uh, like I say, sitting there dead in the sweet spot, it, it, it's such a vast amount of difference. There's no line. You, you know, you can't compare this to a four thousand pound unit. That particular setup there is put it that way. I mean, there's obviously other setups that's probably maybe a bit better and, and not so good. Like you know what I mean. But for that particular setup. It was just amazing, it really was. I mean, obviously I'm, I'm used to it. It's gonna sound more amazing to me maybe because I'm used to listening to this as well. But uh, this is quite a good setup. Like I say, you know, get some good detail, you know, some airiness and all that kind of stuff. Some dimension to it and all that. And it, it's, it's pleasurable. It's very nice, it's smooth and that. But that difference, now I want to say what stood, stood out to me, what you're gonna get, and what all your uh, Stereo View X talks about is that magical, pardon me, that magical, you know, everything's in the air kind of thing. And it is magical. I mean, when he talks about on these system, it was just so apparent there. And he's just sitting there and it's like you can pick out every piece of dust. It's like looking at dust kind of thing. It's, it's, it, and you could, you could actually hear every single piece of dust kind of thing. You could like, it's hard to explain, but we're talking about, it's just a magical airiness. It's just, it's just the air. You can feel the air breathing around. You, you, can, you can kind of like, where they recorded that in the studio, that microphone and the detail it's retrieving off uh, off the record player and off the streamer etc and that the tracks was playing going through the amplifier and speakers it's just re retrieving so much detail that uh, you can actually hear that studio you can actually you know you can you could hear every bit of dust you know like in your house you've got dust float you always get a bit of dust flowing around you look in the sunlight and you see it's always all little particles of dust it's that little particles of music it's just and everyone's individual a bit like when it's snowing kind of thing you could hear every single wind noise. It's really hard to explain, but it was a it was really really nice. You know what I mean? It's it's, it's a different sound to this. It's like it is, people talk about a vintage sound, and it is that is a, a newer sound, um, but it's a fantastic sound. You know what I mean? It's left an impression. It's like when you go somewhere. You know, though you go and I went to um, see. Um, I've been quite a few places, but I mean uh, a few things that strike out. The Leaning Tower, Pisa. It's kind of thing you you don't forget. You're not expecting that, but uh, one that really sticks into mind is the Eiffel Tower. We went there on a foggy day, and that, and that kind of I took a picture there, and it was really nice. It was really amazing. The way the light caught and everything else, um, it's just something that sticks in your mind, and that's something that's going to stick in my mind. Like I say, I went a few weeks ago now to listen to that demo, and it's something that's going to stick in my mind. And now, if I had four thousand pound, I'd have no hesitation to buy that unit. Absolutely, I'm going to talk a little bit more about the sound in a minute, but we'll have no hesitation to buying that for four thousand pounds. When you compare, let's say maybe I'll be only four hundred pound a week these days. That's just ten weeks money, and I've got that unit. And uh, going back to where I bought that camera, that would have been fifteen weeks money when I was only hundred pound fifteen times my uh, my income. This is a, probably about maybe fifteen to ten to fifteen times people's incomes these days and it, oh, I think it's worth every penny. It does sound that it is a lot of money, don't get me wrong, four thousand pounds isn't cheap. And it's a lot dearer ones. I mean I listened to one there that cost uh the amplifier alone was two hundred and fifty thousand. But I'll come you know I'll talk about that maybe in the other video. But um yeah for four thousand pound it's it's a very, very, very good setup. And don't forget Kevin set up that perfectly as well. But that is a very, very good setup. It's just the detail in the music, everything was alive, the, the air the air was alive, the detail, very you know, every, the placement of the instruments and everything, you could you could hear everything, every single detail there. Um you really could. I mean, Kevin commented uh, someone said you could hear the uh, uh, one of the tracks that was played, the person's teeth. And uh, you know, you could hear the fillings kind of thing, all that kind of stuff, and you, you could kind of quite easily imagine imagine that as well. That's for that's for certain. So um, yeah, I mean, what I take away from that, you're getting that, like I say, that the air is really alive. When you say the air is alive, it really is alive. And the speakers, they, you know, they talk about disappear. I mean, I've talked about my channel, like the speakers, you know, the, the sound stage is coming down. You can't hear the speakers unless a little bit of instruments is coming out either side. Other than that, they disappear, but they just completely disappeared there. The speakers weren't in the room you know what i mean the speakers just weren't there it's just a nice big sound stage like i say everything's in its right place everything's sounded you're taking away detail everything's there the timber everything it's just it's just an amazing experience it really was i mean like i say i'm coming from this so that's gonna it's like me watching a, a standard definition tv and all of a sudden going and watching a 4k and thinking oh that's fantastic which it is uh yet there's 8k down the road like you know it's, it's even better but obviously you're going to pay for that but um yeah you know, I, I know there's no way you could, you know, anyone could realistically say that uh, this is just as good. You know, I mean, this sounds better. I, you know, I did, you know, I do enjoy this. Don't get me wrong, 
and um, it's you know for certain tracks and that it sounds good but I, I, I'm I, I am good, I'm gonna miss that detail that it, and I do like it I'm a person that like and I like this amplifier here because it's got that kind of airy 3d airy sound and I do like that but um, it's, it's just no comparison it really is no comparison to the you know the detail in that air it's just all about the airs alive and it, it's hard to explain that is the main thing I think the air is alive it's just amazing it really is so definitely worth um, maybe a visit you know even if you can't afford one of that just to go and uh, listen to one maybe book yourself up and pretend you're interested in uh, buying a bit of hi-fi or something like that in your local hi-fi shop just to listen to what you know it could sound you know what kind of sounds are out there uh, but no getting back this for this money this is a tenth of the price and you're probably getting it's hard to put in percentage what kind of between this and that but you're probably you, you're probably getting 10 20 percent of what that's giving you it may sound harsh me saying that but um, you know that is magical that really was magical for me anyway but you're still getting a lot here for your money this is next i mean this this this, this still stands good you, you know the vocals still sound good it is that is but it is a difference you know what i mean but it's they still sound good you're getting very very unbelievably good money for value with this i think when you compare that you're gonna to have to spend 10 times as much which is you know doesn't sound a lot sometimes when you're saying something's a 10 and saying it's 100 quid that's 10 times as much there's not much of a difference there really but when you're going from three or four hundred pounds to four thousand and if you bought some of these you know you're lucky enough to pop out and pick up a few of these for what i did you're spending just over 100 150 pounds then you're talking about probably 20 25 30 times the difference kind of thing so then you know these are bargains they really are you know what i mean these are really bargains now what am i open to do now i've really you know spoke about that actually that experience now so when people say to me anyway when people say that you can pair this low budget maybe a bit higher maybe but i've had a couple of other units a little bit higher than this uh, and i won't well, no, you know compared to that four grand there's still a, a big 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 difference and when people say that this sounds um just as good uh, or better than that it may do in some respects for the vintage sound i can give i'll give him that you know what i mean the vintage sound i give people that that say that, that the, the vintage sound does sound better etc but for the the, the air the, what i took out of that was the air was alive and it really really was uh fantastic you know what i mean um yeah so you know that kind of system i'd love to have i really would even though i'm into this vintage stuff i'd like to have both because i like that vintage sound as well that's some more uh, you know newer sound kind of thing and you know it's taking every single bit of detail and some people say that can kind of leave it a bit bland a bit boring but uh, the tracks i heard there i didn't find boring i didn't find boring at all you know what i mean i could listen to that all day then tracks they, they sounded you know really really like angels kind of thing sounded really really nice it really did but coming back to this this is still great value you know if you're starting out it's going to put you on the stepping ladder if you haven't got a lot of money you're still going to get a great deal of detail out of your recordings uh, so you know uh, that's it really uh, just to like, say a quickish video talking about uh, how my experience was and it, like you say you, you probably gathered it's left quite an impression and if uh, if I had a spare four thousand pound I'll be down there tomorrow buying that that's for certain and setting it up but then again obviously it's probably not quite going to sound as good as in my own because uh, everything's dampened you're probably going to have to spend a little bit more money uh, treating the room getting it to where it should be uh, that's another thing and I'll probably get, get more out of this as well if I treated the room that's another you know it works for both obviously but uh, there is a vast difference I think you know what I mean uh, it, it is a vast difference on my budget you know bottom of the range budget stuff that's for certain I can't tell you no, I can't say this you know I can't tell you lies uh, that's how I kind of experience it and that's my thoughts on this I feel like a bit Jerry Clarkson all of a sudden on uh, who wants to be a millionaire that's my final answer and and that's pretty much what it is so um, yeah as, as, as normal i'll say what jeremy says i've got no idea and that's my final answer okay i'll say thanks for watching and i'll see you all soon